all about library finds. The items in Barber Library were purchased with COCC money for use by all members of the college community. If someone damages or fails to return an item, even accidentally, that means others can't use it anymore. That's why we have library fines. There are two types of library fines at COCC, overdue fines and lost or damaged item fines. When you check out an item from Barber Library, you'll receive a receipt with the date and time it's due back. Overdue fines apply if you don't return the item by that time. The exact amount of the fine varies by the type of item. The lost or damaged item fines apply if you don't return an item within 30 days after the due date, or if the item is damaged when you return it. Then you'll receive a bill for the sum of any overdue fines, a lost item processing fee, and the full replacement cost of the item. For some items at Barber Library, the replacement cost can be hundreds of dollars, so be very careful with that expensive iPad or camera. You can pay your library fines one of two ways. First, you can log into Bobcat Web and pay with a credit card, the same way you pay your tuition and fees every term. Second, you can visit the business office at any COCC campus to pay by cash or check. For the Bend campus, visit Boyle Education Center. For Redmond, visit Building 3. Unfortunately, Barber Library staff can't accept payments directly. You should pay all fines as soon as possible. If you have any library fines on your Bobcat Web account, even a single dollar, you won't be able to register for classes, order transcripts, or graduate. On the third week of every term, COCC also sends debts over $50 to the Oregon Department of Revenue. If that happens, you'll owe the state even more fees for collections. For more information about library fines, including rates and the appeals process, visit COCC.edu library.